I do many things here at Hickok Cole. I guess I, I run the business, I do business development, and I also um, act as a principal in charge for a select number of projects. There's a project manager, project designer, project architect, and then there's staff architects and, and interior designers that work throughout the project. And I've been following this one especially because it's one of our um, um, very important projects. Uh, from a goal perspective and, and what AGU wants to, to achieve. The building, while it's not historic itself, um, it is a very special building in its neighborhood. It's quirky, it's fun, it's got a lot of things going on in it, and it's, it's beloved by, by the neighborhood. So going into a project like that, you have to be very careful because we have to do a lot to it in order to get it to um, a target of net zero. Uh, so we have to change it. There are a lot of things we have to do to it, but at the same time you want to maintain the character of that building. I would say the approval process is pretty similar to what we have to do on many projects. Uh, the difference is, is that um, because we were adding a solar PV array again over the property line, as I had mentioned before, um, and we were in a historic district, we had to go through the, the Historic Preservation Review Board and the community prior to that. But in this case, the community bought into the mission, into the mission of AGU uh, to help get started on uh, combating climate change and that was really important to them. The, the ANC or the Area Neighborhood Commission actually was, was the group that pushed others forward to say we need to do this project and that's really you know pretty amazing so that was really great and I would say even though it's a long process because that's the way the, the process is set up in Washington DC for approvals it was still pretty smooth because of all of this um, goodwill that was generated and AGU was great to reach out to the community have them come into the building ask questions so there was a real um, effort on AGU's part to reach out to the community and not just try to push it through, if you will. Well, I would say it's a, it's a passion project, right? It's, it's special in that way because it's doing something above and beyond. We're not just building a building, we're not just putting tenants inside a building. Um, we are helping a really great organization meet their mission.